How's it going guys? Happy Friday. Welcome to Patrol Grooming. Today we have a great lesson and an example of really understanding what the difference is between razors. So I have a treat for you guys today. We have this cutthroat straight blade, straight razor, whatever you want to call it. It's from 1907. This blade does not require any sort of replacements. It's just a straight steel and you have to sharpen it. Classic part of the barbershop environment. Uh, back in the day, they used to use leather straps to kind of sharpen the blade. Um, I've used it. I don't particularly enjoy using it. I find the replacement blades on a straight razor as such to be a little, uh, a little sharper, a little cleaner, a little easier, less maintenance. Uh, and then obviously we have the cartridge razor with a typical cartridge that goes on and off. Shake right here. And so uh, really going through, um, I used to use this razor when I was clean shaving. It was pretty easy just going th straight through the face. You're not getting any cuts. It's not hard to use. It's pretty self-explanatory. Just put some shaving cream and, and uh, go for the shave. Uh, I no longer use a cartridge razor ever for anything. I'm not a fan of them. Uh, it really got irritating for me when you take the cartridge razor to your face, you're shaving, uh, and then you have to wash the blade every single time that you stroke in order to get the hairs out. Uh, and so it just became kind of tiresome. I thought that it had to be an easier solution if I taught myself how to use a straight blade. And so uh, we got to this guy right here. This is a Diane. Flip it open. You have the Derby blade that I use in there. Replace it after every shave. Uh, well, before every shave. And um, not super hard to use. I did get cut a couple times at the beginning using them. But once you close the clasp, put the blade in there, you're using this. You, the biggest thing that you want to take note is that um, you don't want to go perpendicular to your face. You want to go more parallel to your face, just with a little bit of an edge to nick the hairs off. Uh, it's not super hard to use. I would just be careful. A lot of people will start off just taking small strokes with a straight blade. Uh, benefits. I really like straight blade. I don't need to wash it after every stroke. When I have shaving cream on and I'm hitting a shave, whether I want to be clean shaven or I want to, you can see I'm growing a beard out right now, or just get a lineup, way more precise when I'm trying to cut the hairs under my neck off, uh, way more precise in creating that line that I like by my neck uh, and, and creating a clean shape of the beard. But all in all, it's just super efficient. I can take a clean stroke all the way. As soon as I'm done with my stroke, then I'll rinse it off. Or I'll just take a cloth or keep something on my shoulders to wipe off the shaving cream with the excess hair. Um, and I don't think I'll ever go back to using a cartridge shave, a cartridge razor. Uh, you'll see a lot of barbershops. You're going to step into a barbershop and they're going to be using this on you. You won't see a lot of people using this themselves at home. They're a little scared. I made a tutorial video of kind of how to use it long form. It's 12 minutes of me just using the blade on my face so that you could see kind of what types of strokes to make when you're beginning and what angles to hit with the blade. Sometimes when I'm going on this side of the face, you're looking in the mirror and it's kind of hard to get the angle because the blade is blocking your, the line that you're trying to get on your beard. But all in all, it just takes practice. I think uh, these are my favorite. This one, as you can see, I don't know if you guys can see, but it's uh, no replacement blade. It's just metal, stainless steel, made in Germany, and it is just a super thin blade. Just goes straight to your face. This one, I just found that it was not as sharp as the disposable blades. Um, so nonetheless, I think uh, way cheaper. The straight blade is way cheaper. You really, you can get a box of 100 blades for like $6, $5, and that'll last you well into two two years if you're lining your beard up once a week or so that's about what i'll do and hit mine yesterday um pros other pros i think it's easy to store easy to clean uh, i know these you'll just pop them off uh cartridge razors the replacements are pretty expensive um getting the handle is kind of an investment one-time investment but 
really just the replacement blades I find to be pretty expensive. I know you have Dollar Shave Club that tries to make that more affordable today. Um, but otherwise, I would choose a straight razor all day. I'm trying to think of cons for a straight razor. Probably the biggest con would be the barrier to using it, the barrier and uh, of how, how to use the blade on your face or, you know, the, the learning curve that it would take to, when, you, when you're getting some cuts on your face when you first start using it. But otherwise, I think it's going to be worth your time. Um, it doesn't have to be a huge transition. You could take one, go to your barber, ask him how he uses it, pay attention, watch some videos. I have one tutorial up and I'm sure I'll post more. Um, but yeah, thanks for joining us, Patrol Grooming. Next up, we have Beard Oil. I'm going to get that video in today as I'm growing the beard. And so stay tuned. Appreciate you guys for joining. I hope you're learning. We got some questions this week. We were able to answer them, and hopefully it's helping. If you have any questions, if you want any extra topics, uh, I have a huge list to cover, but send them my way. Put the comments in the comment section. Ask me if you want to cover anything. I'm here to cover it, and let's get the education process going.